Hey there, Sharon Hornells from here. Welcome to day 1,560 of What You Have to Know. Talking about making a mint and supersize your business. Rich Me, Poor Me, Financial Identity on the BU 365 Day Challenge. You do one thing every day that improves us in some way. Today's topic was financial identity. And since this month is all about financial well-being, one of the topics that we want to talk about, and I, I just added it this month to make sure that we talk about it every month, is our identity what we what we and how we see ourselves now and how we want to for each of the different areas and aspects of our life i think i might go back personally and do physical mental emotional and spiritual identity because i don't believe we necessarily talked about identity in each of those areas and aspects I, i'm sure i have in the past but probably not with respect to each different area i probably hit or missed on them so i want to go back and personally say okay what is my current physical identity, what do I want it to be? Because that's a good way to move us toward our goal. But today we talked about financial identity. And of course, financial identity are the values, the knowledge, the experiences, the skills and the behaviors that we have with respect to our financial well-being, either personally or collectively for a, an organization or a group or a, a business we might be building. And financial identity is different than identity theft despite what the internet tries to create for us in our minds. It was really interesting researching that topic because millions of responses and millions of, of sites came up with respect to financial identity, which is not what I was looking for. Financial identity and identity theft are totally different things. So we're talking about financial identity. How do you see yourself now versus how do you see yourself in terms of the future, what you want to be your ideal financial identity to be? So maybe you're... Uh, maybe you're unemployed and you want to be uh, making a hundred thousand dollars a year. Maybe you're, you know, you're a six figure earner, let's call it. So jobless six figure earner. And our action item today was to come up with a, where am I right now? Description that you can relate to or that speaks or makes you laugh or smile. And then where do you want to be again that you can get excited about love speaks to you or you can relate to. So some of the examples I used were uh, sad sack to designer bag because maybe you're into fashion and that really speaks to you. Uh, pajama grandma to, uh, I would say star studded sparkling Sharon or sassy Sharon or styling Sharon. Doormat or matchbox car to monster truck. Maybe that speaks to you. Molehill to mountain, jack of all trades, master of one. Newbie to expert or guru, baby to grandparents, startup to supersize. Those were some that spoke to me, and I haven't picked mine yet. So I'm going to think about it today. What is my current financial identity, and what do I want it to be? What's what speaks to me, and says, okay, I'm a I'm grateful for where I am, but I really really want to be over here, right? And so it just gives us a quick visual to to pull us toward what it is that we want. So financial identity, really important topic really important topic to think about personally because it's one of those we usually shut down ignore and just turn off our brains and don't think about at all we just whatever happens to us happens to us you know some you know a small percentage of the population one to five percent of the population specifically thinks about sets goals and objectives and moves toward exactly what they want vast majority of people me included sometimes don't we just do things by default and I and one of the people that I think specifically set goals and objectives and and break it down to little bite-sized pieces. And that's part of why I do this daily challenge, a daily challenge. So that was our daily challenge. Make a mint was our idiom for supersize your business. And I had much fun picking these candy canes from Christmas. I obviously overbought candy canes, but I like to make them into uh, mint flavored fudge, peppermint candy canes or wintergreen, which are absolutely delicious. Wintergreen is my favorite personal mint flavor. So wintergreen lifesavers and wintergreen candy canes. Delicious. And so I will make some mint white fudge because it's different. It's delicious. I might make some mint chocolate fudge too, because that's really good as well. But that's why I, I still have candy canes that I could say make a mint. Now making a mint actually has to do with and comes from coins where coins are made and the condition of coins. A coin that's in mint condition is like one that just came off the, the manufacturing press or the mint uh the first gold coin the first coin the first silver coin was actually made in in 269 bc so coins have been around for a really long time and it was minted uh in the temple a rome temple of the of juno moneta 
which became the goddess that was associated and personified money and wealth, both money itself, coins, and the um, where they were made, where they came from. So that was a really interesting one. I guess I, I understood making a mint means make a lot of money, but I never really understood or knew where that idiom or expression came from. Now, it happens to be Mother's Day in uh, in America. I don't know if they celebrate Mother's Day all around the world, but at least here in the United States, we celebrate Mother's Day. Mother's Day. And so I've been getting dings in and I need to send some messages to some of my favorite mothers on the planet. I invite you to do the same. And if you're a father, a single father, you get to celebrate Mother's Day too, I think, at least in my mind. Or a single grandpa or a single you know, grandmas always get to celebrate Mother's Day. We get we get double whammy because not only get we get to celebrate our children and amazing human beings they become, but we get to celebrate their children as well. So being a grandma is very special to me. All right. If I can help you in any way with any business related topic, either online or offline, hit me up today. Otherwise, I'm going to be celebrating Mother's Day. The sun was shining. It's been beautiful here the last couple of days. And of course, today it's overcast and rainy. So hopefully it doesn't rain, but it might doesn't matter. It's still Mother's Day. All right. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow.